We are going fishing and floating the river. Floating the river and fishing, whatever. But we are at Angler's Roost, um, which is, I guess, just a spot where we can get into the river. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's also a place where people can do their like campers, park their campers. Um, and then we're getting in, this is the Bitterroot River, right? Here it is. We're with our friend Dan and this is his raft. And we're doing dry flies today? Yep. And what's this bug? This is a plant B pattern. It's meant to imitate, it's kind of meant to imitate swallows, but it's kind of a modified version. This so. bottle makes me laugh. It's called Flyagra. Fix your fly dysfunction. <laughs> it helps it float, right? That's what that stuff is. Are we going to inflate the raft? Oh, there's our boots, babe. Oh, did he grab them? Yeah. Nice. Oh, somebody's calling me. I've been just wearing my slippers because we thought that the boots were left in the back of the truck. When you transport these boats on the, like, uh, trailers and stuff, you deflate them a little bit, so we have to pump it up a little bit right now. You're so cute. Wow. I'm so excited. So this is a three-man boat. Whoever's rowing sits on this thing right here. This is a dry box. Have you ever had anybody fall out when you went down that? Not down that, but I just fall. But just falling out? Good grief. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That was. Was it? Yeah, a fish just jumped. Yeah, it's not a spray. Feels really weird to be going backwards. <sighs> We're both just tired. <laughs> Are you tired? No. I'm exhausted. Have you been drinking water? You like took two sips out of that water, are you? you? I was focusing on not freezing to death while in the boat and also trying to cast with the five million instructions that I was receiving. <sighs> Fly fishing is so hard. It's like Dan said, he, he said everybody sucks. Like everybody just starts off and they suck. So there's a huge learning curve. And the fish weren't biting today, so nobody caught any. It was just kind of stressful, like trying to 
remember all of the instructions that I was being given, like, don't you use your wrist and make sure that you cast back far enough and don't tip your rod too far forward on your forward cast and all of the information. It was cool though. And it's definitely different than casting from off the side of the shore because you're moving and we were moving pretty fast. Was that like a pretty fast float? Yeah, the water's picking up and level, so it's moving faster. Yeah, so it was like by the time I had like gotten myself together enough to like try and cast, we were already past the hole that I was supposed to be casting on. So it's just, yeah, something that I'm going to have to continue practicing, but can we still fish from on the shore like for a while longer or not really? Yeah, there's places you can go to fish on the floor, shore. But runoff is about to start, so it's... So the water le water level's going to go up really high? Yeah, the river will be pretty unfishable. Mm. When does it become fishable again? Later in June. June. Okay. Anyways, so that was us unsuccessfully fly fishing the Bitter River. It was a cool float, though. It was really pretty. Lots of very big very pretty houses lots of deer lots and lots of wildlife like birds and all that kind of stuff just no fish so hopefully next time okay well thanks for watching bye